The Amazing Arctic Fox by Gwen. Or Gwyneth. To Madeline. Introduction. This book is called The Amazing Arctic Fox. It is sure to blow your mind. It is about things you should know about this amazing creature called the Arctic Fox. My opinion is that I think these creatures are very brave or courageous, yet charming and cute. To read more, turn the page and continue on becoming an Arctic Fox master. I hope that you will enjoy this book. Look for other books from Mrs. Weber's third grade language arts class. Gwyneth. Cute attributes. These creatures are as adorable as they are amazing. They have very different characteristics that, than some other animals. An Arctic fox's fur can change its color depending on the season. In winter, the color is white to creamy white, while in summer, it turns from dark brown to light gray. The ears of an Arctic fox are small and curled rather than long and straight and have long bushy tails. It has a coat of fur over its skin. Fur curls over its paws, which helps it keep warm. When an Arctic fox is sleeping, it uses its bushy tail and thick fur to cover its nose and body so that it stays warm at night. The length of an Arctic fox is close to about three feet long or 18 to 27 inches. The weight of an Arctic fox can be up to about five to 15 pounds and is about four ounces. Did you know that the male Arctic foxes tend to be larger than the female Arctic fox? An Arctic fox's lifespan is about three to 14 years. An Arctic fox's fur is dark brown to light gray in the summer. An Arctic fox's fur is white to creamy white in the winter. An Arctic fox's den has many different entrances that have been lived in by centuries of Arctic foxes. Habitats and behaviors. The Arctic fox has a very different habitat than you're probably used to. The Arctic fox is commonly found in the Arctic tundra, the tundra of Russia, Canada, coastal Alaska, Greenland, and Iceland. An Arctic fox is diurnal. The family of an Arctic fox contains one adult male, the young, two vixens, one non-breeding female born the year before to help look after the next litter. Even an Arctic fox's home can help them survive in cold. The fox makes its den far beneath the Earth's surface. They tolerate temperatures as low as 50 degrees Celsius. Did you know that in the den of an Arctic fox, there, have, there are many different entrances so that entrances that have been lived in for centuries? In the winter to hunt, an Arctic fox will look for small moving creatures moving and hiding under the snow. Population and numbers. There are always problems with different animals. Sadly, the Arctic fox is threatened by fur trade and diseases from domestic dogs. Climate change can also be a threat to Arctic foxes and other Arctic animals, such as the polar bear. According to the IUCN, the population is in the order of several 100,000 animals. The numbers of an Arctic fox will remain stable. Thankfully, on this scale, falls on, on a scale falls on a least concern. Least concern. Arctic fox near extinction. The Arctic fox will prefer to eat small animals or mammals, but will also eat other small things such as berries and insects. What's on the menu? Arctic foxes aren't very picky eaters. Arctic foxes are omnivores. An Arctic fox prefers to eat small animals or mammals, but it will also eat berries, insects, or carrion. In winter, it also sometimes will eat sea animals. It preys on small animals such as lemmings, voles, ring seal pups, fish, waterfowl, and seabirds. They might even sometimes eat seaweed. As you know, the Arctic fox is adapted to its cold habitat because of its thick fur. The red highlighted part is a diagram of where the Arctic fox commonly lives. Amazing adaptations. The Arctic fox has many adaptations to survive in its habitat. Their round, compact bodies minimize the surface area that is exposed to cold air. Their short muzzles, ears, and legs help with keeping warm air inside its bodies and maintain a body temperature also. A special adaptation to the Arctic fox is its paw fur. 
The thick fur will cover the bottom of its paws. The fur gives traction to it so it won't slide on the ice or snow. Some adaptations they have are camouflage. The Arctic fox can use its camouflage to hide from deadly predators in the snow. The camouflage can help with hunting too. It can use it while finding prey and sneaking up on what is soon to be lunch. An Arctic fox's adaptations make it able to survive the harsh, cold terrain. Predators. Polar bears, wolf packs, and humans are the only real predators of an adult Arctic fox. Some others can be the birds of prey, such as snowy owls. Though they are predators to adult Arctic foxes, they tend to mostly prey on the more vulnerable Arctic fox cubs. Fortunately, one of their adaptations can help them hide from predators. It's camouflage. I'm sure it's an amazing adaptation. A polar bear threat is a common threat to most adult Arctic foxes. A snowy owl hunts for vulnerable Arctic pups. Fun facts. There are so many extra facts left from my research, so now I can share them with you. Fun facts. One, an Arctic fox's scientific name is Alopex legopus. A baby Arctic foxes are born both blind and deaf. Arctic foxes do not hibernate. Arctic foxes are monogamous animals. Arctic foxes have an excellent sense of hearing and smell when it comes to hunting. Vopes lagopus is the Latin name for an Arctic fox and it means hare-footed fox. An Arctic fox's tail can be up to 13 inches long, 33.02 centimeters. Arctic foxes have six to 14 pups or kits. A female Arctic fox can have two litters in a year. A female Arctic fox will have a litter 49 to 57 days after mating. Thank you for listening to my extra facts. I think you might be as surprised to hear these facts as you hear other crazy facts. Look for other information about Arctic foxes yourself. The Latin name for Arctic fox is Vulpes lagopus, which means hare-footed fox. Baby Arctic foxes are born both deaf, blind and deaf. An Arctic fox's tail can be up to 13 inches long. In conclusion, and so I'm predicting that you have learned a lot about Arctic foxes in this book. I hope you agree with me about how cute and amazing these animals are. You can also look for more information on the Arctic fox. I am glad that you liked this book. Make sure to look for other researchers on these amazing animals from Mrs. Weber's third grade greenies class. Now you are an Arctic fox master.